Hey everybody, I am here today with um, my second design team video for Cut To You. I'm going to be using this really fun circular flower cut file. This is an older one from the shop, but it's so much fun. We're going to start by inking this cut file up completely. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of tape runner onto the back of the cut file, and that's just going to help hold it in place on my glass media mat. I have a bunch of Distress Oxide ink colors here. I'm gonna start with the darker one, which is Chipped fa Sapphire. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of these beautiful uh, Distress Oxide inks and I'm going to go ahead and blend them all together. So I think I misspoke and I said Chipped Sapphire, but this is actually Faded Jeans. So I'm going to use Faded Jeans Stormy Sky uh, tumbled glass and milled lavender and I'm just doing sections so I'm starting with the darkest color and working my way to the latest I'm getting a new uh, ink blending tool for each so I'm using my picket fix blending brushes and uh, I'm just going around I and doing sections of this cut file so this is really really easy um, it's not hard at all uh, just some blender brushes a couple colors you really like and uh, I think probably the hardest part is just making sure that you're blending your edges out so where um, this blue color lighter blue color is meeting the darker blue color I'm just blending the two colors together so that when I'm all finished, we'll have lots of different colors, but they will all be seamless. You won't be able to, there won't be like a distinct sharp line where one color ends and another begins. So you can see here how I just keep blending, adding color, layering color until there's no more white. So that's kind of what the ultimate goal is here. We want all the colors to be blended together and we don't want any white. So I'm just going around until I am 100% in love with it and it looks great and I'm going to set it aside now to dry and clean up. Now I need to choose a pattern paper for my uh, page. So I know that I want to use, I'm going to play with the Coco Vanilla Studio Daydream Collection. I'm going to kind of go through all these papers, but the one I'm going to stick with is this one, this black and white polka dot one. And then as a labor of love, I'm going to get my Big Mama roll of foam tape and I'm going to back the entire back of the cut file. Did not make you watch this, you're welcome. It was a labor of love. <laughs> About halfway through the process, I decided I was insane and crazy, but I had, was too far in to, to try to rethink it by then. So <laughs> now I have my cut file and my photo, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my some of the um, embellishments from Coco Vanilla Studios Daydream Collection. I'm going to go through them here and kind of decide which ones I think are going to match nicely with my photo and really just how I want to embellish this. I'm not going to embellish it a lot because um, that cut file is very kind of bright and bold and I, I did all that work on it and I don't want to cover it all up so I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to go through all these embellishments and decide exactly uh, which embellishments I want to use and which ones um, fit. I'm going to choose my title from the words. So the this Daydream collection has this amazing package of die cut words and they're really really good words. <laughs> they're not like best day ever words, right? They're really nice words. So I'm going to use some of them to help to build my title. I'm going to use this, these two that say beautiful family and R. See what? They're such nice words. I very much enjoy them. I'm going to go ahead and map my photo on this light blue paper. This paper has a little bit, this is the six by eight. This is like an off cut from the sheet of six by eight. And, um, I'm gonna go ahead and map my photo and I'm gonna put it right off to the side here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of decide what embellishments I want. So I have some flowers that are fussy cut. I have this fun little circle element from the die cut pack. I know I wanna use that and kind of build clusters up and around those circles. There's a couple of these circle die cuts in this collection and I really do like them. I'm gonna go ahead and get a lovely kind of floral cluster going on here. So I did go through this 
all of the fussy cut flowers and the die cut flowers and I pulled together the lighter ones. So I have some nice light uh, blues and these kind of peachy pinks. Uh, nothing too saturated, just enough to really be able to kind of put together these fun little clusters. And then I took this, uh, this is a banner piece that says Fantabulous. Some of the flowers are going to go kind of up on top of the cut file, and then some of them I can tuck underneath the cut file because I did go ahead and put the foam tape on the entire back of the cut file. I'm going to kind of just kind of tuck these flowers in and around where I think that they work and where I like them. And now I'm going to go ahead and start building my title, getting my title where I want it. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab one of those beautiful corduroy hearts from this collection that I really love. Oh, I love those corduroy hearts so, so much. I'm going to kind of tuck it in there to fill out my title. So my title kind of nestles in all together very nicely. Now I'm going to start another one of these kind of floral clusters and just put it diagonally from the cluster beside my photo. And I did add that one little floral cluster up there with the bright yellow flowers. The reason I did that is because in my photo, the wall behind our family photo is that bright orangey color. And I felt like if I didn't add just a touch of that orange kind of diagonally from it, it might stick out and kind of be a distraction to the entire layout. So by just adding, adding one more little pop of that orangey yellow, up in that floral cluster, kind of just balanced out the orange in my photo. So on that bright post-it note, I wrote down the date, the year that this photo was taken. And uh, to add the year to my photo, I grabbed some of my Kelly Perky labels and a sheet of these kind of periwinkle blue Kelly Perky letter stickers that totally matches the colors that I'm using on this layout. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put the letter stickers onto the, or the number stickers onto that label, and then I can pick up that label and just add it right to the bottom below my title. And that is where we are going to call this layout done. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Be sure to take a peek over at the Cut To You shop and um, don't be afraid to look in at all of the cut files in the shop, even ones that may be a little bit older because you can find some real gems and some beautiful, beautiful cut files that will be perfect for your next layout. I will talk to you all again very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.